Hey everyone, One Big Boss here, and as you can tell, we're playing pinball game, but not just any pinball game. This is actually a pinball game from my childhood. And if any of you people on the PlayStation Network right now and have a PlayStation Plus membership, you can get this game for absolutely free. Some of the stuff that they uh, give you, like add-ons and stuff, unfortunately they charge you for those, but Medieval Madness was a pinball game that I played a lot as a child. There was this place I went to called Normandy Farms, and it was a campground kind of place. Me and my folks used to go there for the summer, you know, for a couple weeks, camp out, all that jazz. They had like a rec center with pool tables, bumper, uh, bumper pool, most of the other ones they had. Uh, you know, and like they had arcade machines there, and there was Street Fighter 2, uh, Off-Road, Pac-Man, they, like they had like a bunch of other ones, but for pinball machines they had a few, but this was the one that I remember the most. I got really good at it, and I was challenging people for money. And I'll tell you, like, I, I did, I got really good at it. Me and my father were both pinball lovers, we loved all kinds of pinball, and so... This game is just a big part of my childhood, it, it felt like, at, at this summer place, because I was always um, playing it and challenging people, and actually winning a lot of quarters from people back then. It, pretty much like what I did with Street Fighter, uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and a couple of other fighters, and okay, that was okay, okay, ball save. So yeah, so we're gonna just enjoy some, playing some pinball, a little something different from killing zombies and, you know, fighting games and shit, you know? The catapults! The catapults! This game, is, it just held a lot of memories for me as a, as a child. Oh, I remember that. Oh. Get on up! Ooh, come on, come on now! Get up there! Whoa! Got both. Another good thing about this is you can customize the balls too. Like you can't customize them yourself per se, but there's just a bunch of different ones you can choose, and it helps, I guess, with different levels. Because you might not be able to see the balls good. I think the green works perfect in this level. Oh come on! No! Oh. No! 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 no. Oh, come on, that hit the thing. There's a lot of other ones, uh, pinball games to play on this, uh, little pinball thing here that you can download. There's an Elvira one, uh, uh, that I know the panda lady, if she sees that, she's going to go insane, because she loves Elvira. She even has the real Elvira's autograph. Uh, Acid Arthur, who you all remember from the Mercenaries Madness videos, my friend, she lives in England. She went to London, the London Expo, uh, MCM convention last year. And she had, uh, she had met her and got Panda Lady the autograph, which is great. And we've been trying to get uh, the Panda Lady to dress up as her for years, and she hasn't. She won't do it. Right now, anyway. We're, we're working. And that was my last ball, apparently. Uh, yeah. Well, again, this is just like a little, uh, yeah, like I'd never get that. But you know what? Screw it. We'll go one more round. Let's do this. Cause this shit's fun, like, pinball is just an amazing invention. It's been around a long time. Like, as a kid, I always thought pinball was something that was invented in, like, the 30s or something like that. But apparently, it dates back to even before, like, they were electric and such. Um, I think it was, like, a Russian thing or something. Ah, uh, but I suck. I don't know, pinball, pinball games on... A, uh, on a machine seems so different than actually doing it yourself. You know? I remember my buddy Stick had a uh, it was like a it was like a monster one for his PC. I've been trying to remember what it was for years. I, I, I don't think he knows exactly. He's in the Marines, so it's hard to get up. He's stationed out in California, so it's hard to get a hold of him because of the time difference, and I never know exactly what his working days are. So he pretty much just calls me. But still. Oh man, I'm going up and down those things like tomorrow. Oh! Look at this! Oh, okay, I jinxed myself. He's having too much fun. Alright, drop what he's down. 
This game is challenging though, because pretty much like what you have to do in this game is lower the drawbridge, break down the gate, and then get inside there to destroy whoever is the owner of the castle. There's like the Duke of Earl and all these other ones. One of them sounded like a drunk from what I remember. Years ago. Come on. Oop. No! Don't move! Oh, thank god. This game's giving me a lot of crap being a multi-ball madness. <laughs> is it stuck? Okay, I'm not complaining. I'm getting points uh, racked up for this. Ooh! Oh, save this time. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh. Well, I suck, but I haven't really played this in pretty much since the late 90s, this game. So, I used to be really good at it when I was a kid, but I loved it. But, oh, wait. Oh, crap! Well, I, th I, thought, I, I thought I got a better game. Still, I hope you all enjoyed this little video. There's other ones. There's a Star Trek one, too. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, to be more exact. So if there's any Star Trek fans out there or anything like that, I'm going to do a video for that because the new Star Trek movie just came out. And I figured I might as well just play the Generations one while I have it. So, again, uh, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button because it's free in this day and age. Free is a damn good thing. Uh, again, thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm One Big Boss, and I will see you all next time.